Hi, Bella Watchers. My name is Jonathan Calixto, and you are tuning into Runway to Reality. I'm so excited because today I have a special guest with me, which you'll meet shortly. And then today, what we'll also do is, along with my co host, we're going to be breaking down the best looks of the week. We're going to do a little bit of a fashion hot seat and then also giving our Bella Watchers some fashion inside scoop as well. So without further ado, I'm so excited because Hispanic Heritage Month just wrapped shortly and today we have a Venezuelan influencer, stylist, designer and also philanthropist. You name it, she is conquering it all. <laughs> um, I'm very excited. We have Marta Luna. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Jonathan. Yeah, we're so excited. I hope I didn't scare you off with like the whole, you know, No, no, I'm pretty excited coffee. to be here and all that we have to share to all the viewers. So can you just let us know a little bit about yourself and what are you doing? As you mentioned, I'm a Latina, I'm Venezuelan. I live here in New York. I do a little bit of everything. I kind of say that I'm a little box of Pandora. You know how you have like different charms, so you don't yeah. know what to expect next. Um, but I love the creativity that I get to uh, use and all of my gifts. So from being a designer to, I started as a blogger and the blogging uh, business opened a lot of doors for me where I design, I have a, uh, makeup bag brand, which we make makeup bags, all one of a kind pieces. I'm also the founder of a humanitarian organizations. How has having like the platform that you have with like influencing and doing like different fashion stuff kind of transitioned into like also being able to do those other cool things? I feel like your page is something special and as long as you can bring a positive message to your viewers, it's like the key, you know, because it's not only fashion, we have different kind of people all over looking at you and your page. So what can you bring to the table that inspires them versus just coming to a page where you can only see fashion? Uh, a lot of my followers are about fashion, but then, you know, I have the people that I style. I have designers who am I inspired of how I started my brand. And the biggest thing is if you're creative, no one can take that away from you. So once you have all of those gifts, just show it to the world because we only have one life to live. So I totally, it's all about inspiring your platform. Totally love that. But what inspired you to get into like the fashion industry and start blogging? I feel like in fashion you have like your own language, literally. Um, you can be yourself one day, you know, if you want to dress up all in pink, you want to dress all in yellow, prints. You have no way of, you know, it, you don't have any rules, basically. Mm. So it's kind of like this thing of like, oh, you can't wear white after labor. I'm like, who said that? I wear white whenever I want so <laughs> it's you know fashion to me inspires me also because you not only show like a language of your personal style but it's also the personality that you bring out of yourself and you learn and just different things that you see about everyone and I feel like fashion is a really big platform I mean even if it's online or in print I feel like we have a lot to offer in fashion awesome and so who are your fashion icons Chanel Audrey Hepburn and okay. my favorites. What are some of the favorite things like you enjoy about their style that you maybe incorporate into your own um, style as well? Coco Chanel to me, she's very, very ladylike. I even have a tattoo. Oh. It's a Chanel vintage hanger that says fashion. And um, you know, just her drive and a little bit of her story uh, inspired me a lot. And now, what would you say is currently your favorite thing in the fashion industry? Just keeping it authentic and being yourself. Uh, I see a lot of things where, you know, you want to wear this, so the next designer might be designing this piece like another designer, but bring out that gift, like I said. It's all about being original. Now that we've gotten to know Marta a little bit more, we're gonna do what I like to call runway or reality. We both picked our best look of the week and we haven't seen each other's look, but we're gonna reveal them and Whichever one you like, just comment below which look you prefer, or if you like both of them, or who was your pick for the best look of the week. So Marta, if you want to go first and share. So I picked Jennifer Lopez. Her look this week was amazing for the L Woman in Hollywood carpet. Celebrating 25 years, and I thought it was totally runway, so guys, agree with me. Pick mine. <laughs> And what did you like about the look? Like any specific details? I love the look. It, she had a little skirt. It was black, very 
fashionable a little bit of blush but then she had like this scarf but it turned into like a bow it was amazing lately JLo has been wearing a lot of pieces into like very high fashion so I really really loved her look so my look was Victoria Justice she was just recently doing an event here in New York and she wore a big neon number neon right now is just transitioning from summer into like the fall season and yeah, I, I think she just makes everything look useful, cool, hip. So you guys let us know below which one you think was your favorite look of the week. If you agree with any of our picks or if you have your own pick as well. well. Now that we've picked our best looks of the week, we are gonna move on to something I like to call fashion hot seat. I'll be asking Marta a bunch of rapid questions and she'll basically give us her inside scoop on those. Ready? I'm ready. So the plaid trend, take it or leave it? Take it, you're wearing it. Yep. <laughs> And brands are starting to break the gender norms. So a lot of retail stores are starting to take off the men and women section and just strictly just having fashion for everyone. Thoughts? I'm loving everything very baggy. Things that I probably would have said, oh, this is only for men, I'm not gonna wear it. A cool t-shirt, a man can wear it in a suit or just a casual day on a weekend. I can style it up, put a belt on it, wear it with high knee boots, even oversized big sweaters, so I'll take it. Yes, and now very controversial, the fanny pack trend. Are we loving it or hating it? I'm loving it. I actually wore fanny packs all over Miami Swim Week mm. and it's just so cool. I mean, even when you're traveling and you go to new places you've never visited, you don't want to have these big bags. So something where you can just carry your cell phone, the hotel keys, your credit card, amazing. Yeah. And like they're it. starting to be a lot more fashionable too. So I think they're getting like a little- Even the way they're gorgeous. wearing it now versus probably how our parents wore it then. Yeah. So, you know, you can wear it on cross-sided. You can just wear it as a regular bag, True. not only on the way. So it's so many things you can do with it. Awesome. So we're loving that. And now for fashion week, are we going with a fall fashion week or spring fashion week? Well, I'm a spring fashion week girl, mm -hmm. but in New York, the streets are like the runway, so you have to keep fashion all year long. The only thing that during the winter time, I don't really like the weather, but I will keep fashion all year around. Awesome. And now, up and coming designer, you think that we should be looking out for? I love Layana Aguilar. She's actually a Brazilian designer. Uh, she designed the dress for Elena of Avalor from the Disney princess oh awesome. but she's based here in new york she has amazing pieces very fun looks and also homie diaz he i will probably recommend him for men he does he has great shoes backpacks jacket and he has a brand called magnus alpha so that's a really really amazing and we'll definitely have to check that out and now the last question people are excited to criticize and say that maybe we should take out the red carpets are you saying stay or is it overrated Day. <laughs> I'm dressing up, wearing my fabulous makeup here to not have a red carpet. That's probably one of the things I look forward the most before the show. Yeah. It's and like, I think what, are, what is everyone wearing? Totally. Because you won't be able to appreciate the designs or the looks, the suits, the dress or gowns if someone is just sitting at an award show versus them walking the runway and starting their stuff. So yeah. I definitely love to keep the red carpet. Mm -hmm. And just to add on to that too, I think it's the perfect time for celebrities, influencers, just talent in general, to name who they're wearing. Like that's the exactly. question that we all look forward to. Like, who yes. are you wearing? What are you wearing? Um, okay, so now that we've got that checked, you did amazing, survive. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I was like, the hot seat, <gasps> I'm well, ready. Yeah, you did amazing. So we're gonna move on to the next thing and the final thing. Before we go, obviously, we need to give our watchers some inside scoop for what to look out for. We've each picked out our two trends that we're looking out for and tips as well for our watchers for men and for women so martha do you want to go first well and it's share? a little bit of a mix for me right now everything bold i used to be the girl that wear only pink the obsessed pink girl but you know what be wearing bold colors I, i'm loving all about the bold colors just you know you can wear an entire red suit an entire blue suit amazing neutrals for men mm. versus just the gray and black which looks really good but you know those neutral colors a uh, cream and brown i think it's like really amazing and as in tips i feel like for men you need a, a statement piece yeah. uh, recently i styled one of my clients for a wedding in the dominican republic and he actually wore a green and black suit but he had a polka dot uh 
bow tie, oh. which that was like the statement piece for that look. And for women, just, you know, bring out those colors and just accessorize and prints. Prints, prints, prints is a must. Yeah, I have to agree completely. I think, especially with the fall this season, you're seeing a lot of neon and a lot of prints take over. So that's definitely fun. And I love those like women that can mix the prints. Yes. Uh, one of the women that I like follow is Liliana Vasquez. So she does a lot of like mixing with the prints from like snakeskin to plaids. And I think it just looks so effortless. So I love totally. that. Yeah, and then for men, same thing. I love a good statement piece. I think like whether you throw on a jacket, it's a good way for men to get more comfortable and out of their comfort zone. And you know so. what I'm loving too for men? Tote bags. Instead of wearing like the old school briefcase, they have so many great designers yes. that are making these amazing tote bags as versus just wearing a briefcase like before. Totally. So. Completely agree with that. So now that we've given you the tips, uh, before we go, Martha, are you working on anything as well that you can share with us any upcoming projects and where can people follow you? I am working in a lot of projects, but I'm going to keep it, like we say, work in silence and make a lot of noise. So I'll give you guys my Instagram, which is at mdollnyc to follow me and see all the adventures that I'm doing because certain things I can't share yet, but I am working in a lot of big things. Wow. Well, we'll definitely stay tuned and as well martha will be back for future segments too maybe just joining us as a co-host sharing her inside tips and if you guys have any more questions just comment below martha will answer them we'll get back to them and we can ask our future guests as well so make sure to just follow us at bella nyc mag and yeah thank you so much for tuning in thank you